911 emergency, what are you reporting? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another great edition of We Speak Dispatch. We're all speaking dispatch, so you should be speaking dispatch with us. So today we have a number of people with us today. We have our usual suspects. We have Glenna. Hi, Glenna. How goes Southern California? Nice and warm. No mm, snow here. <laughs> jealous. Leslie, how are you today? Very good. No rolling blackouts or anything here. We are fully powered and ready to go. That's yep. good. That's Well, that's California for you. So mm -hmm. no problems out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. And Not weather related. <laughs> yeah. And John, how goes, how goes the uh, uh, area you live in? We are thawing out on the East Coast, and I have my toe warmers on. Oh, my. That's got to be cold. And over here in Middle Tennessee, it was been snowing all week, so it's been just absolutely lovely outside. So especially since I don't have to go out in it, it looks neat to look at. So, And we did find a use for the snow. Uh, Jill put a couple of bottles of wine out there, and it was really good. Mm. So, all right. So, And our special guest today is Katie over there. Katie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Katie. I work for an agency in Southern California. I've been dispatching for about seven years, and I was recently a contestant on The Hustler. Woohoo! That's Woo! why we have Katie here today. We saw her on that, I think it's ABC. Is it ABC? It's ABC, yes. ABC, The oh, Hustler, you, and it's right. a new TV show where you have to determine out of five people who is actually hustling everybody. Uh, and lying about what's going on for a large amount of money. The episode you were in, it was like, I think it was $120,000. That's Unfortunately, you didn't get it, but, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you were close. So how did you get hooked up in that show? What, what, how did you uh, find that or how'd you get into that? So originally I actually auditioned for a show called Nailed It on Netflix. Oh. For Baker. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I, I, uh, quite a bit through the um, audition process. I, I didn't make it. Um, they said, we actually have a different show in mind. Um, and they said, we were coming up with this brand new show. We think you'd be really good for it with your personality and the facts about you. So what do you think? I'm like, oh, no, I'll do it. So <laughs> I uh, went and auditioned for it. Um, basically, it's a show about, uh, they take facts about one person out of five people. The, that person's chosen as the hustler they're already aware of all of the answers to every question, um, but they have to fool the other contestants and that's not them. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. I mean, it, it, it is a great concept and the host, what's his name? I can't think what his name is. Craig Ferguson. Craig Ferguson. Oh, I, I love, love that him. guy. His He's, accent is so uh, good. He you see his tattoo on his arm? That's yeah, tattoo. he was long sleeves so i didn't get to see it but oh it's the greatest tattoo ever what does he, he have on his arm what does he have tattooed he's got a it's sleeve. Glenna. it he's says got join or die it's <laughs> john i just heard you <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> oh now i'm doing red great, great. <laughs> wow. okay glenna's being quiet again <laughs> oh lord glenna what is the tattoo it says live free or die is that what it says no it says join or die and it is a um it is a it has to do with a citizenship and being, you know, a, a patriot for wow. America because he is from Scotland. And so he had to come and become a citizen. Right. And he's just such a patriot and such an American. And if you ever get the chance, YouTube him and, and look at his tattoo because it's just awesome if, wow. if you're not afraid of snakes. So, uh, well, cool. you know, that's something else. But but so, Katie, when, you, when you were doing this, did you have to tell your agency that you were going to be on TV? Um, I did not specifically because it, I wasn't mentioning anything about the agency. Um, I did inquire about it, but they said, as long as it's not, you know, putting it in a bad light or anything like that, which right. I was very not the other hustler. That's yeah. the other, yeah. that, <laughs> other thing. The TV show, not the magazine. Yeah. Yes. Pause. <laughs> god <laughs> wow yeah we don't really want to talk about that but it must have been like it, mm -hmm. did you have plans for if you would have won this 120 grand i mean would you have quit your job oh no 
No, this is 120 grand. I live in California. <laughs> I know. Yeah, Ten minutes that's, later, that's, 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 again. <laughs> if you lived here, you'd be styling, man. <laughs> Wow. So, I mean, because you came very close to winning the, the show. Yeah. Very close. Yes. You were the final three. The other two ganged up on you and picked you out and said, we're going to celebrate and se separate the money. So they got it. So that's that's good. But uh, so your work didn't have anything to say about your going on the show. They didn't say like, um, you have to sign something or write us a memo saying you won't disclose. Because you did say Sam Bernardino, you know, a sheriff's, uh, sheriff's party. I Yes, I did mention it. And I did give them a shout out, which they're actually quite excited about. <laughs> oh, okay. <good. laughs> wow. All right. Up Batch Center, they had it on. Everybody was watching and you know, cheering <laughs> on. So <laughs> it was, that's cool. Yeah. I the network to talk about it. I made it very public and let them know. And, and I got a lot of support from my team. It was awesome. Oh, that's, oh, that's good. Great. Wow. That is good. How I long ago, like, between the taping and airing that you had oh, to yeah. stay silent with all of it? It was a long time. We yeah. uh, recorded December, 2019. So it was before COVID. Oh God. Wow, pre-COVID. <laughs> really? Oh. Yes. Oh and wow. we didn't air until January, 2021. Yeah. So oh I had to stay silent for a very long time. And I started questioning, is this even gonna air? Because yeah. with COVID, and, and everything going on. And um, this is also before a lot of the protests and I didn't know how people would feel about. Oh yeah. Um, I'm like, this might not air, you know? And, <laughs> and part, I was so nervous about it airing at all. I was like, yeah. I would hate it if it didn't air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit, oh. <laughs> Cause people knew you were going to do the show, right? I'm sorry? So people knew you were going to do the show. Yeah. But you, when you came back and they were like, so what happened? You're like, oh, I'll tell you later. I, and a year or so goes by and they're like, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> man, she lied. <laughs> and then I put up a post of me from the show and they're like, oh, is this happening? Like, I think they feel fine. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> yeah. I, I just need the day off. I can't tell you yeah. why. Yeah. 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 I'm on a TV show. Really? <laughs> <laughs> day off <laughs> wow yeah i hope you didn't go to your employer saying i'm going to be in hustler i'd like to go see them and they're like no 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 you're not no no oh, the tv show oh, I have to explain the concept of the show because they yeah. were a little <laughs> yeah wow hey those other people that were on the show with you did you have any contact with them prior to the show nope no i had never seen them uh we were not allowed to talk um we the first time i saw them was they put us in a line to walk onto the set. So oh, I, wow. I think Take a photo I, four cameras were rolling. So it was um, wow. a, a stressful experience. <laughs> I was going to say, were your nerves just like, oh my God, you know? Oh, what? all over the place. And <laughs> wow. when we saw Kylie, it was a completely different set too. So the set was entirely different. And we, I didn't even know I was the hustler until about 10 minutes before they threw me in front of camera. And yeah. I, any of the contestants before, and it was, um, it was a rush to say the least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, and did you know, um, do you know what your tells are? Like, did you find it hard to not lie, but you know, did you find it hard to do that with people face to face? Cause on the phone, I think oh, most dispatchers, we can oh, do it pretty easily, yeah. but face to face, how was that? Yeah, so I had to keep reminding myself to don't say, um, don't look to the side, don't, you know, and I had to keep Where all the baddie responses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you know, just don't look at anyone too long. Like, don't start. Oh my laughing. gosh, you were the perfect <laughs> candidate. Oh, <yeah. laughs> I was going to say, because most of us that are here right now have interviewed people for jobs and things like that. So we, try to look at people for the same kind of thing for tells yeah. and you can see mm -hmm. where they don't make eye contact and things like that so i mean it's kind of a handy tool that we kind of all have that we could bring to that thing I, oh. i'm not very good at the show i, I keep messing with the <laughs> wrong person but in person i'm good at it <laughs> yeah. i didn't get it and i've watched go ahead uh, like I, said, I didn't know i was to be the hustler until about 10 minutes before and i was like oh i'm good questions is my job like i'm gonna grill everybody and then it's, <laughs> i'm the one I was like, oh crap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, I, I feel like it was going really well until the very last question. Yeah. 
Yeah. And um, they brought up my fantasy football. And the guy was trying to pretend like he didn't know the answer. I'm like, you were just full of it. Like, I just, I couldn't. Like, <laughs> I do it. Wow. like, like but you know, I'm, I'm a gambler. So it was either 120,000 or 30,000. Yeah. And with yeah. air, you know, for, and in dispatch world, 60 seconds is a very long time. Yeah. Here's the 60 seconds thinking, do I want to go for 120 or 30? You know, I'm like, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you yeah. kind of have to. I mean, it's like there's there's too much money on the line to sit back and say, ah, it's going to be 30 instead of 100. Yeah. And I, I was like, I could, you know, walk away. You know, because I, I think I had, I think I could have gotten the girl to yeah, go to go against the boy. Yeah. But yeah. that clearly didn't happen. I think if I would have kept my mouth shut, I would have had a good chance. But I'm like, I just, <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. I got to go. Yeah. I'll go. In typical dispatch fashion, you know. Yep. <laughs> stop talking but no no we're dispatchers can't do it. <laughs> we're gonna keep talking the whole time <laughs> oh, yeah. why did you can i ask something why did you uh pick the people you did first if you can disclose that oh yeah you nominated two people That's good. so okay the uh first gentleman i chose um he just he wasn't giving me enough like i felt like he was so quiet i'm like i can't think of any personality trait or history or anything I could pin on this guy to give me a reason to say he's the hustler. And they edit out that he had actually said he didn't think it was me. He thought it was the life of the party. And I'm like, okay, so they're not gonna think it's me if I vote out the one person who doesn't think it's me. Oh, and right. Wow. So I got rid of him Thank and you. that was working. And then the second gentleman next to me, he was snipping too close. He knew it was me. Like, I could tell he knew it was me. I had to get rid of him. <laughs> he knew it was me. And I'm like, okay, he's got to go. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I love you. Just vote him off. Gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Magic bookcase. There you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so how much did they edit? Did they? On the enforcement field, and he's going to stiff me out. Like, I had to get rid of him. So. <laughs> did they edit out quite a bit? They did edit quite a bit. <laughs> really? Well, how so, long are you actually sitting? Like, wait, did I even say that? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now let me let me ask let me ask the room at large a question because uh -oh. I know in my agency this wouldn't have flown. Like I could not have said who my agency was at any really? given time. What about you, John? I think we could. I mean, I'm in the same boat as Katie. I think as long as we don't disclose the agency and. Uh, we keep it in a positive light. I'm just thinking back to the um, localities, social media policy. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you shouldn't identify who you're with uh, by the policy. And if you happen to disclose it, it should not uh, come with a bad rap to it kind of thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, I also think of, you know what, it's a day off. It's my time. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, or, or I asked for the day off and it was pre-approved. Am I at liberty to disclose this? I'm not going to wear anything of my locality or my agency on TV. So it's like, I don't know if you really need permission. It's not secondary employment. No, 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 it's not. Yeah. What about you, Doug? Could you have done that? I, I'm almost certain we could have. I mean, you know, most of the stuff I've done, it's been with the highway patrol. I mean, I've, Done the radios and the TV, and we did, you know, little TV back in the man, 90s. Right? So, <laughs> little, little stories of Highway Patrol. But, you know, other than that, oh, it, Lord. I, I think we could have easily, like, done it as long as, like he said, that we didn't slam our agency or do something crazy. I mean, I, I remember somebody telling me when you're out doing training, like the company we all used to work for. Um, they said, oh, you probably shouldn't say who you work for because it's, you know, whatever. And I'm like, really? And then I went and saw Gordon Graham speaking at some big event at the International yeah. Police. And he's like, you know, I work for the Highway Patrol for 30 years. I'm like, you're like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I can say it. <laughs> so yeah. I think it lends credibility to who you are and what you do. But yeah. my agency does feel very strongly about controlling what gets put out on social media. Leslie, oh. what about you? Same thing? Yeah, same thing. I don't think my agency would have been thrilled. And then, I, I mean, I know you all talk about it's not secondary employment, but what, what happens if you are bringing in a significant amount of money 
30,000 or 120,000. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's legit. It's not like I'm embezzling it. Yeah. Well, true. Yeah. That's very yeah. And as, as long, I mean, as long as the financial crime section knows that I'm recording it for tax purposes, you know, that, <laughs> right. you know, I mean, yeah. I'm just well, playing devil's advocate. You're going to park a lot in a Mercedes. They're going to be like, oh, okay. All right. I got okay. it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, I don't think so. $30,000 yeah. is not going to buy you that. No. <laughs> lower edition <laughs> lower model <It's, laughs> but i mean i think that's a pretty cool thing i mean I, I when we saw that i had to uh you know unfortunately the minute you said who you worked for i got jill looking and she went to all the instagram facebook's googles all these things and found you immediately and said here she is and i'm like all right so let's bring her on <laughs> yeah thank you so much katie for coming on that was so cool yeah, yeah that's, that's very, very awesome, awesome. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, love it. Well, and we're, and we're glad to do that. And, we're, and we've got some stuff uh, coming out to you, some things in the mail. So take a look for those things because uh, we have a little gift for you. So uh, thank you. We'll probably be in touch with you shortly to get some information from you about that. So other than that. And if you haven't seen the episode, go watch it. I think it's yeah. episode yes. four of season yeah. one. Watch out for the quiet. Look for season one. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes, exactly. Look at, look at John knows the whole, like, how to get the message out with that. Look at that. Okay. Good I job, I just rewatched the episode. There you go. <laughs> oh, you just did? And Katie, <laughs> yeah, but it was good. And Doug yeah. actually got me hooked on it because we watched one, like, two nights ago. It yeah. was episode seven. I thought it was episode one because it was at the top of our <laughs> listing. But even, we're like, we don't even, I'm like, who is it? We're like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, can't tell. I can't tell. So through the thing, I'm like, now I think it's this. Wait a minute, now I think it's that person. It's got to be, and it's like I'm looking for the been... and and that one guy the other day, his foot was shaking when he's answering a question. I'm like, okay, he's his foot's shaking. That's got to be. And it turned out it wasn't him. I'm like, damn it, <laughs> <laughs> damn it, my skills are lacking. <laughs> I'm like, they really take hey, it. Now out. that you now that you've been on the show and you were actually the hustler, do you watch it to pick out other people, and are you good at it? I have watched it and I'm like 50, 50. I'm mm. not great at it, but I'm about 50, 50. I would give it that. Okay. Mm. What about, you know, I did ask you about if you'd talked to people before, what about after? Did you talk to these people after saying, Hey, ass at our person. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did talk to a couple of the other contestants and they were just as nervous for it to air as I was. So oh, pretty good relationships and everyone was, um, I mean, it was a, pretty awesome cast and the crew and everybody was really awesome and cordial and you know i nice. i'm a pretty good loser i think so <laughs> I think that helped so what's what the next cool show experience? you're going to audition for oh yeah i, I don't know if i'll be auditioning for anything else anytime soon it was a long process yeah. <laughs> but if you were to approach me then i'll think about it <laughs> and, and you've got some more exposure right now so it's like you know, oh, sure. if, there you go. if our friend joe is here he would tell you about the you know 13 other countries that our podcast is heard in so you'll oh. be heard all over the world as soon as this thing goes out on podcast so yeah. all right yeah so just remind everybody <laughs> that we are on about 12 different podcasts you'll see the list of them at the very end of this broadcast we're also on facebook instagram twitter and everything else you could think of every other me social medium out there plus we're having our, we give away our, our decals for you. We only ask that you put them up, take a picture, show us where it's at. And we have our really limited edition face masks <laughs> that say we speak dispatch on them. And we're going to put up more pictures on our Facebook page. You'll see people wearing those things right now. So we have a lot of those out right now. So if you want one of those, send us an email and we'll tell you how to get it or go to our Facebook page. It's got all the instructions on there. Other than that, I thank everybody for uh, participating today. Have a great rest of the day. Thanks, Katie, for joining us today. Thank you, and we'll Katie. see you next time, everybody. Thanks, Katie. Bye. 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 Hi, this is Courtney, and you've been listening to another great episode of We Speak Dispatch, proudly sponsored by our friends at Zybex. 911 emergency, what are you reporting? <laughs> Approaching sunset. Copy southbound number three lane. Exiting at sunset. Copy the exiting at sunset. Auto pilot. What's your emergency?